Howdy, everyone. Well, as you can see, we have relocated the airplane out to what I like to call Site A1, which is nothing more than my garage. So obviously, I brought out the fuselage and the wings from the shop, carried them out here into the garage, and now we've got everything set and ready to check the wing alignment and start drilling some holes in the rear spar of the wings and things of that nature. So here's what I've got. Just like in the shop, I've got the tail up on a sawhorse and I've got it basically resting on this bulkhead here. It's a nice um, robust bulkhead here. It's a dual bulkhead. So I basically have got that resting on the sawhorse. Of course, the sawhorse is padded. And then I've got two C-clamps, one on this side, one on the other side, which basically pinch the tail this way so that it can't slide. And of course, they're wrapped to protect the skin. Underneath, up front, I've got my combination of crates and wood and... Um, plastic bins, things like that, to hold up the front. And the wood pieces basically help distribute the load on the crates and uh, the thinner wood pieces, which you probably can't see, they just act as shims to, to uh, get it level. Of course, you can see I've got the wings attached. They are only attached by the main spar. Like I said, I'm just getting things set up now. I have not done any drilling of any kind. I just have it out here level, and I've got the wings attached. That is my pedostatic tubes. I've got the wiring that's from the wings that need to go through the fuselage. That's just coiled up and kind of stuck in a lightning hole out of the way. I've got four bolts per spar. I've got two of the larger 7 16 bolts, and then I've got two of the smaller, um, what are those, 3 16 So I've got two big and two small on each wing. And of course I've got the other wing the same. It is bolted in place only at the main spar. So as of right now, the fuselage is mostly level. It's real close. Using a digital level, it might be off 0.1 degree, but I'm gonna I'll work on that some more when I get there. But the one thing that you don't want to do is you do not want to have any kind of supports under the wings once you get the wings attached to the fuselage. You don't want any supports underneath because you want the fuselage to be level. And then you want to tweak the wings to the fuselage. If, you've, if you use supports under the wings and you basically use the wings to level the fuselage, then that messes up the relationship between the wings and the fuselage, if that makes sense. So you can imagine if the fuselage is not level, and I put a support under here and raise this wing, now the fuselage is level. But this wing is probably going to be running downhill and of course you already know that this wing is up because you've got support underneath it. So you want to level the fuselage and then match the wings to it with nothing underneath supporting it. So this is again, this is more of a real world scenario because as the plane is flying, it's not going to have supports under the wings. So this is kind of the setup that you want to use. Of course, I got the blue bar as always up on top. I use that for my level so I can measure level across from left to right. And that's about it. Again, you can see the tail is supported in the back there with the uh, sawhorse and the C-clamps again to keep it from sliding side to side. So what I had done, just as a real quick check, like I said, all I did was level the fuselage and I got the four bolts in each main spar. Then all I did was I took a tape measure and I went from this inside corner of this upright, I measured from that inside corner over to the furthest 
most rivet on the wingtip here on the trailing edge of the wing. I measured from here over to that inside corner of the upright, took a measurement, and then I did the same thing on the other side. I came around and again I did a measurement from this aftmost rivet on the tip of the wing and measured over to the inside corner of this vertical upright just to see where things kind of play out. And I was very surprised that they are within 1 16th of an inch of each other. So I am more than happy with that at the moment. So I got to read through the instructions and see what's next, but I know you have to um, check the wing this way this wing compared to the other wing, which is kind of what I was just doing. I was basically making sure that the wings are square to the fuselage, just like you had done for the tail pieces. You pick a point and you make a measurement and that measurement has to match the other side. And then you also want to check for sweep. So you have to, I have to read again, but you basically drop plumb bobs off the leading edge of the wings and then make sure that you can connect a straight line from one wingtip to the other all the way across something like that I'm not really sure I got to read it um, and then there's the angle of incidence which needs which need wow which needs to be worked in so that's what I'm getting into now but I am just more than pleased that the airplane is out here it is up on its supports. It's got both wings on and I'm ready to roll. All right. Good times. Talk to you guys later.